Guide for Inner Spiritual Work by Rabbi Michael Ben Pesach Portnar. The 57th lesson will bring him as a burnt offering to his will. It is written, let him near his wish. Literally, the poem says, bring him to sacrifice. Perform a sacrifice according to his own wish. The word kurban, sacrifice, means karof, nearing. To sacrifice his egoism for to near the creator. How can we bring the egoism to the opposite quality? So he would say surprisingly, do I wish that? We pray. In your wish, but it is said, but it is said, a cow want to feed the calf more than the calf can drink. Why do we pray the wish should be to the Creator? <laughs> One. With or without his request, the outer being is given the most necessary equipment according to the next principle. A cow wants to feed more than a calf can drink. Just as a baby needs milk, is milk for us a parallel for light, lightly nurturing till the time he receives the intellect and faith. The difference between the outer and the inner being is the inner being has to strive for a true, corrected and perfected wish. Only in that case, the highlight can be received in a fully conscious condition. It is known that in order to extend abundance from above, he must pray from below. Why has to come? Why? He has to come the wish from the human being, while the Creator has the wish to give to his creatures, a wish so much greater than the creation can receive. Why pray? Let it be your wish. To wake up from above, the wish to give at us. So again, why pray? Why pray and let it be your wish? In order to wake up from above, the wish to give at us. Well, it is important. It is not enough to have a desire. But there has to be a good will on the part of the giver too, even though there is a general desire, a general desire to do good to his creatures. He still awaits for our desire to awaken his desire. Only when we are genuinely prepared to receive the highlight, our wish becomes true, corrected, and perfect. By a true prayer, our wish receives this quality. At the same time, we must know all our deeds, the good and the bad the so-called private providence, comes from the Creator while we, have to fall, while we have to feel sorrow. The Creator is sending us these bad deeds. The mind necessitates we must not regret but justify the judgment because we deserve the bad deeds. Nevertheless, it is to the contrary. We must regret not being permitted to do good deeds, which is certainly as a result of a punishment, meaning that we are unworthy of serving the Creator. How can we say we are unworthy since there is no act below? We are given bad thoughts and desires that distance us from the work for the Creator. We are not worthy of serving Him. They separate us from the work of correction because we aren't worthy yet. Therefore, is given the prayer as a correction so we may become worthy to do the work of the Creator that gives it us. All our suffering comes from above, from the Creator. It is a punishment, but in a way it is a correction too. There is a law saying every punishment is a correction. Why should we pray to the Creator to undo our correction? A prayer is a more of an affection, a correction, than punishment. In other words, a prayer is a more effective correction than punishment. And this can help. So, 
When a person prays, he prays, he annuls suffering and punishment. The prayer is the correction of his body, his wishes. Our sages said about the verse, Then thy brother should be dishonored before thy eyes, etc. When prayer appears in a place of punishment, the affliction is lifted, and the prayer is placed in its place to correct the body. This is the meaning of what our sages said, awarded through the Torah, was not awarded through affliction. We must know the path of the Torah is a mere or more successful way that yields more profit than the path of pain. This is because the kelim, the vessels, will be fit to receive the highlight, are broader, and can yield dvekut, adhesion, with him. This is the meaning of he is coerced until he, he is coerced until he says, I want. It means that the Creator says, I want the deeds of the lower ones. Meaning, the prayer is what our sages said. The Creator craved the prayer of the righteous, whereby the prayer, the kilim, are made fit for the Creator to later give the abundance. Because there is a fit, the kli, to receive the abundance. Lesson 57 continued. A will bring him as a burnt offering to his will. The most important to pray for is a wish, but the cow wishes to feed more than the calf can drink. Why do we have to pray for a wish? There may come from above only pleasure when there has been from below a pleading, a request, not enough. From above, there has to be a good wish, although the fact that the common wish of above is to provide pleasure to the creatures. He is waiting till we have to wake up with our wish, his wish, and when we don't have enough strength to wake up the wish from above, it is a sign that the wish of the receiver isn't accomplished yet. The prayer to receive from above gives at our wish a perfect form. It makes a kli, a ready, and suitable to receive the shafa, light, abundance. And yet all our deeds, the bad and the good ones, come from the Creator. Besides, it is at us to regret our bad deeds. But it is our intellect that says otherwise. Therefore, we have to justify the judgment because it has influence at our bad deeds, but we must feel sorry we didn't receive the strength to do good actions. Of course, it is a punishment. But thoughts, or bad thoughts, and wishes remove us from the Creator. And in this way, we are not worthy to serve Him. And this is where we have to pray for to become worthy and purify ourselves so we can receive the work for the sake of the Creator. There's no punishment, there's only correction. A prayer has to be a correction of the body. The correction has to flow the path of the Torah and not the path of suffering. The path of the Torah brings happiness and blossoming and has the specialty to make you worthy for the merging with the Creator. 1. The process of correction has two interpretations. One, the outer being experiences it as a punishment. He feels if someone is taking something away from him. And two, for the inner being, every form of is taking something away from him. And two, for the inner being, every form of correction is welcome, independent of his observation. The way of suffering means that he wants to pleasure his outer being. There, the way of the Torah means one chooses to work for the sake of the Creator, the wish to pleasure him by an agreement in qualities, in attributes. Try hard to wake up the wish in your heart. <clears throat> Try hard to wake up the wish in your heart to receive the Shafa from above, the abundance. All the bad situations and deeds come from above. They are needed to wake up through the suffering. So there will be a longing to return to the Creator. There's only correction. When the suffering is very deep, only then a person cries for help. Only then the suffering disappears. Remember this. We are not guilty signals. Never think 
there will be punishment after a bad deed. Ask the Creator to correct your kilim so you can receive the shafa. When a bad deed doesn't wake up, we get more suffering. But when we see the true understanding of the suffering and know where it comes from and knowing why, we shorten our way of suffering. This is named, he heard him by wish, meaning he knows the true wish to near him. Don't make any conclusions. The Creator himself did everything what had happened. That's it. We have to go forwards by faith beyond knowledge, and the past is only a supporting part in it. Birur means a person that has to come out of his awareness and to step in the intellect to go the way from the heart. To go the way from the heart to the brains and without emo- brains and without emotion. Verify a situation. Only looking what is happening. Look, if it is for someone else, do what the brains have decided. But for example, you want to sleep now. You lock every opening in your head and lie down, not thinking all at all till I'm better. Speak to yourself if you're speaking with another. Cheer up and awake. Shame yourself, etc. Two, the inner being is speaking with the outer being over the right attitude in the spiritual work as someone in a higher position learns a lower or teaches the lower. Then returns to your observations and try to do what you have to do. Sometimes the brains aren't agreed with what you want to do because the heart influences them. Occupy yourself with something different. Go to the fitness club, wash the dishes, etc. All to make us stronger. The Creator gives at you only for you to learn and to make you stronger. It is His decision that you experience Him. Your reaction is not important. He already knows. Please look at the end of the lesson in the written materials. A column, a table from four columns, what to correct, with what, result, and goal. Until the next lesson, be well.